Let's cross it out. This is our uh, first series of a jump board class. Um, because we work in 30 minute bites, I don't know that either of us could keep it up for 30 minutes straight. So we'll work with the jump board, take some time with other parts of the body, and then go back to the jump board. Or we'll see how this organically unfolds. But with that, let's uncross and lock this in. So you'll look straight ahead of you, eyes open. Look down your cheeks, eyes open. Relax your shoulders and close your eyes. Release it, move around just a little bit. And as always, let's warm the spine up first. So you'll uh, come to standing inside the well, facing your jump board. You've got one blue spring on. Back up so that you're almost at the, uh, at the wood back there. And breathe in, the arms go up. As you exhale, round down and put your hands, reach out and put them on the tops of your shoulder rests. Breathe here as you exhale, start to round the spine up toward the ceiling and pull the carriage toward you. Do that really slowly. If you find you've got too much weight in your big toes, uh, lean back into your heels. And then slowly let the carriage float back toward your spring bar and drop into an old cow, uh, uh, into a down face dog style position. Let's do that cat again. Scoop your belly, soften your knees a little bit and pull the carriage in towards you. Remember, try not to put too much weight in the big toes and then slowly we'll let that float away and breathe into the backs of the legs. Do that one more time, scoop tight, Round it up, feeling a big stretch between the shoulders because of the carriage, and then let it drop back down. Let's take hold of only your left shoulder rest with both hands, and we'll come up and get a stretch on the right side of your spine. Just pull it in, and then drop it down. And do this again, scoop, pull in, and then back down. So it's more of uh, the obliques and the scoop that's pulling the carriage in. It's not an arm job. Your arms are just there to hold on to the resistance, which is your carriage. And then hold at the bottom and change hands. Breathe in and as you exhale, let's do the same thing. So we're going to focus more on the left side. And good. Nice, and then let it drop. See if you can get the stretch in the backs of the legs. And do that again. Round it up. Scoop tight. And let it drop again. Drop the chest toward the floor if you can. And we'll do one more. Round it up. And bring it back out. Put both hands on um, the shoulder rest, so we're going to separate them again and round up one time to a line. Scoop tight, check your form, and then drop it back down again. Come up to standing. I want to spend a, just a little more time with this. Get your box and put it between your shoulder rests and the pegs. Then let's round up to uh, seated again. And take your foot and put it flat on the top of the box. and just lean into it so that you open up your left hip flexor. Okay, you breathe in. Take your uh, left arm and reach up toward the ceiling to open through your chest. You can still hold that right knee or hold a box with your right hand if you want to. And breathe. 
Then let's do the other side. So take your foot down. And here we go. Left knee curls up, shin. And come out over the top of the box. And just release, relax into this stretch. You may find that one hip is a little tighter than the other. It's pretty normal. And breathe into this. Let's do one more nice deep inhale and exhale. And walk yourself up to erect again. Take your left foot, put it flat on top of the box and lean into it so that you open up your right hip flexor. You can hold the knee or hold the box with your left hand and the right arm goes up and just feel long through that whole right side breathing. Good, let's uh, drop the hand, take the foot down. Step out of your box so that you can, uh, out of the carriage so that you can put your box away. Have a seat down at the very end. And let's put on uh, one and a half springs to start. So that's a red and a blue. Twirl your oops, rest up one so that it's comfortable and twirl yourself on. The feet are together. Find your neutral spine. Shoulders on the mat, chest is wide. You're in your core too. Now I want you to take a little practice leap away. It's just a little bitty one and come right back. Yeah. And do that again. When you land, see if you can get your heels down, if only briefly. Okay? As you get more confident with this, you lengthen your legs out. Your legs become arrows. There's tone in them. And we're just warming up slowly. You're breathing. Feet are still together. Let's add a little variation. Land with the feet a little bit apart and keep going. You're just breathing into that. Keep it slow, the pace is slow. Just a couple of more. And let's add another pattern. So you're going to jump out, feet land together, jump out, feet go apart. So we're doing a little, it's the start of a dance. Squeezing the glutes, putting more tone in the legs. They're like arrows when they come off of the jump board. You land on toe ball heel, even if that heel is a, just a touchdown. In and out you go with the feet. Keep breathing, keep scooping, and a couple of more. Last little set. Good, now I want you to come back and just, uh, you don't even have to stretch the legs out. Just keep moving a little bit. Knees stay bent. So I wanna cool down for just a second before we start again. Good. Now, let's rev it up again. So we're going to leap out, feet together, parallel. This time, I want you to land with the feet and knees pointed out to the left, jump out, then they point out to the right. So the hips aren't leaving the mat. Sacrum bone is stable, but the knees are shifting over side to side. The feet are parallel, they're together. Spring out from the glutes and start putting a lot of tone in the legs. 
You're breathing. Just a couple of more each way. Last little set. And come back to center and do those little cool down leaps. They're tiny little things. The knees don't even, the feet can leave the jump board, but they don't really straighten out. I'm just cooling down for a moment. Now, I want you to take a leap out, land feet slightly apart. Tone in the legs, tone in the glutes. And then land in a little ballerina fourth, this uh, third position. So you're going to cross one foot on top of the other and land like that. The knees go wide. Yep, we're just changing. Tone in the legs when they come off the jump board. Tone in the glutes. Scoot tight. In your mind's eye, you see where your feet are landing each time. Just a couple of more. And last little set here. Good. And come back, uh, feet parallel again. Just do this little cool down leap for a second. Your heart rate should be up a bit. It is. Yeah. You're just breathing and uh, I'm taking this easy for us both so that we can, you know, do as many patterns as possible without becoming totally winded. And we'll work up from here, don't worry. So it's just a little tiny lifts of the feet. Knees are soft. Take a nice deep breath, make sure that you can. Because I now I want you to stop and come up to seated so that you can adjust your tension. Let's take off the blue spring. So we just have the one red and come back down. Now there's truth and beauty in doing really heavy springs and then to lighten it up is a completely different story. So we'll, um, we'll experiment around with both today, but let's take a practice leap with uh, less tension here. You'll find that your carriage is longer, that you can suspend out away from the foot bar a little longer. Therefore, your belly must be super scooped here so that your abs can deal with the weight of the legs out there. The feet are together. They're parallel. Heels touch down lightly each time. Now let's have a little choreography. When you jump next time, your right leg goes up, then it lands on both. Left leg up, land on both. Right leg, land on both. Good. Let's keep alternating. Each time, try to get the heels down. That's a goal. And we're doing a little kick each time. Inhaling and exhaling. A couple more little sets. Tone in the glutes, tone in the legs. And last little set here. Breathe. Good. Let's come back to that little benign jump here. Knees stay bent. Feet come just barely over the top of the jump board or off the jump board. Now let's turn out and start that little leap, that little benign one, so that you land in almost a grand plie. All right, the knees do not straighten out. There's, they stay bent the whole time. Can you sneak a peek at me? Yeah, that's it. There you go. So let's start to add some tone to the legs. You're going to 
leap out, land in that grand pie. So the knees are not taking it. The foot, ankle, heel is taking it. The knees softly bend when the feet finally make contact each time. Scoop tight. Legs and glutes have toned. And keep going, check for neutral spine. A couple more like this, we'll add something. When you leap out next time, I want you to try to click your heels together and then bring them back. Click and land. Click and land. Click, land wide, turned out. Try to click twice out here. Click, click, and land. Click, click, and land. Good, those are squeezes with your inner thighs. Your glutes are super active here. Click, click, a couple of more. Last little set. Good. Go back to that little benign leap up and down with the knees bent. When you can take a very deep breath without it rattling, we'll move on. But I don't want you to stop completely. How are you doing? Good. All right. This time, as you leap out, just take a few uh, little leaps here. I want you to bend both knees in towards your chest while you're out there. Pull them in and land. Pull them in. Straighten them out and land. Play with your abs. Give it a nice exhale as you pull in. You almost don't have enough time to straighten the legs out before you land. That's okay. Pull them in. A couple of more like this. And last little set. Good, and then start with that little benign leap again. The knees can even go wide. I'm going to hold my right knee and just do a little benign leap with the left leg. Okay, so I'm just using one foot now. Nice. Just go ahead and develop that in your right leg. Make sure your knee is not taking the brunt of this. It softly bends. Your ball, toe ball, heel takes the brunt, quote unquote, of the landing. Your right leg goes out straight. A lot of tone from glute to foot. A couple more like this. Good, let's change sides. Holding the right knee in, and the left leg zips out. Put a lot of tone in the leg when you leap off the jump board. Make sure your heel touches down lightly. Whoops. If you crash a couple times, it's really okay. You can't hurt anything. Spring off from the glute. And just a couple of more here. Last little set. And then back to that benign leap with both knees bent, just to cool down for a moment. Take a little break. Take a very deep inhale, if you can do that without rattling the chest, because I want you to stop. Back at the bumper, come up to seated again and reduce your tension. Two, one blue spring. Taking the red one off and come back on. Okay, check your core and neutral spine and let's give it a little practice leap here you'll find that it's super slow. You can really hang out there at the end and scoop tight. Uh, you'll get a feel for if um, the carriage bumps into 
the the wood back there, you'll start getting that proprioception. The legs come off straight, a lot of tone. Your abs are fully engaged. Let's keep the heels together and leap out into Pilates V. Legs still together, squeezing out. Toe ball, heel lands. Couple of more. Good. Now your right leg goes up. You land on both left leg up. It's like, um, just imagine being on a cloud. Taking your time. And changing legs. And inhaling and exhaling. Just a couple more each way. Using your glute to spring off. Last little set here. And get to come back to your little benign leap here just for a few. Let's take another strong leap out. Legs together will change the pattern. I'm turned out this time. Knees are wide. As you leap out, I want you to draw your heels in towards your groin. Instead of pulling the knees in towards your chest, it's like some kind of fancy frog leap. Good. Stay in neutral the whole time. Keep breathing and scooping the whole time. And it's a nice sort of slow hang out there at the end. Scoop tight. Go for a couple of more. And last little sit. Good. And come back and just do some little uh, cool down leaps. That benign one. If you can get a nice deep breath without rattling too much, bring it into the bumper and come up to seated. I'm just draping my legs over the sides actually and coming up and adjusting uh, for putting one red on and taking the blue off again because we're going to reorient. Turn on to your side facing the camera. Okay, and here we are uh, cradling uh, your, your ear with your low bicep. And I've got my top hand on the shoulder rest so that I, when I give a little leap off, I don't move, all right? I'm, I'm um, chalking myself in here. So you can have a little practice leaps here. Make sure that your foot does not uh, go anywhere but what you perceive as the middle of the jump board. So you don't want to work it out toward the either edge of the jump board because you'll make a real sloppy landing. So I'm coming off now with a lot of tone in the leg, exhaling, squeezing out. Make sure you don't move. So if your, your top hand is holding the shoulder rest. It's really helpful with this. Scoop your belly. A couple more like this. And then we'll add something to take it out, bend the knee and land. Bend the knee and land. Squeeze it in there. Even if your leg doesn't straighten out the whole way after your bend. Make sure that your hip, knee, and foot track in one line so the knee doesn't drop toward the mat, or the floor rather, as it lands. You want to keep that nice, strong connection there. Scoop tight. Now turn out and do the same thing. So as you land, the knee and foot, the toes point to the ceiling. 
You're inhaling and exhaling. Check your scoop. Just a couple of more. And last little set. Remember, the knee is not taking the landing, the foot is. And good. Come back and just do some little ups and downs. Tiny little leaps here. Your foot barely leaves the jump board. And then finally, when you feel that you can take a deep breath without rattling, you bring it back to the bunker, sit up, and change sides. So we'll just do those two patterns on our side today. Low arm, out over the shoulder rest. You can cradle your head. Your other hand is on the shoulder rest. Your bottom leg is curled up on the carriage. And here, take a couple little practice leaps here and get a proprioception of for, uh, where that foot is landing. Meaning that you want to envision it landing in the center of the jump board and not let it work out toward the end. We're starting to add tone to the leg as it leaves the jump board. And your belly is scooped, your hips feel aligned. The hand holding the shoulder rest is instrumental in keeping you stable so that you don't move on the carriage. Keep breathing. Just a couple more here. And then pull the knee in and land. Knee in and land. It doesn't have to straighten all the way out before it lands. But you are going to catch with the toe the heel looks as good as you can. Use your glute as you fire that leg off the jump board. A couple more like this. Last little set. Then turn out and keep going in. So the knee, foot, hip open to the ceiling now. And you're taking that landing on the toe ball heel again. The knee is uninvolved as much as possible. A couple more. Last little set. And then those little benign leaps up and down just to get your breath again. Tiny little things. Good, when you feel you can take a deep breath without rattling. Let's stop, bring it into the bumper and sit up. I'm going to have to move my machine away from the wall a little for this next one. <laughs> I seem to have walked my machine. <laughs> and that happens on a, a floor. Oh, yeah, mine too. I know. <laughs> so if you need to reposition it, please do so it doesn't bang into your wall. Okay, we're using this as a very tall foot bar. Go ahead and put on a red and a blue for you. And roll your shoulders down and back is just like our normal up down stretch. All right, we're pressing away and pulling back in. Uh, if this is weird on your palms, hold only the top edge pressing your palms into the top edge of your jump board. Or you can grip slightly around the rounded corners of it if that feels better to you. We'll just do a couple of more. And last time, we can even do that high cat. So pull in, in, in. And then right back out again. A few more like that. Good, rounding the spine up. 
and let's do two more. Scoop tight. And last time, I want you to hold it in at the bumper in a cat. Okay, so it's a tiny little movement almost of crunch to pull the knees forward a bit. Crunch in, crunch in, crunch in. Go for three, two, and one. Good, drop back into your up stretch again and just roll back. Hold that extension for a moment and then bring it back in. Step off uh, onto, yeah, with one foot. Just going to do that nice stretch in the legs. Just breathe into it. Pushing into your jump board. If you want to, you can even put your elbows on if that feels better to you. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's bring it up and change sides. Roll straight across. Chuck yourself in and drop down. You decide where your hands feel the best. Um, I mean, I've experimented around. My arms are straight, pressing into the jump board. Bring my elbows and forearms into it if I'd rather. Keep breathing. Just letting the, the legs open up. The back of your leg that's on the floor and the front of the one that's on the carriage. Let's bring this back up to standing. And to finish out with some upper body work on the jump board. So uh, take your box again. Put it back on long box. And let's start with one glue. And come on. Okay, so what we're working with is not only, uh, and we'll, we'll increase the tension to do a little bit of uh, arm and chest work, but I want your back chain. That means from uh, your upper back all the way down to your heels is engaged. So the legs have tone. And um, I've got the breast hanging off slightly. And let's add just a couple of little push aways. All right, shoulders are fixed. I'm taking it fingers down to the palms when I land and pushing away, exhaling. Good. The farther away you push, of course, uh, the, the more compact or compressive the landing is going to be. So be prepared for that. Your elbows really respond. You're looking at the floor. Scoop tight, shoulders fixed. They don't squeeze up under the ears. You kind of feel like you're diving into a pool. <laughs> and for a couple more. Last little set. Good, then take it back to the jump board. Just rest for a moment. While you're down there resting, go ahead and put your uh, red spring on so you have red and blue. We're not going to leap this time, but I want you to be able to adjust your tension to do some presses here, like push-ups. So if a red and a blue is too light for you, bring the tension up, Snow no jumping. But there is tone in your entire back chain. Your elbows are going to drop toward the floor for this first set. 
So they're right behind and tracking with your wrists. I have grasped the rounded corners of the jump board. Make sure that the tension is correct for you. You're looking at the floor. A lot of tone in the back chain. And then reorient so that your elbows then can go out to the sides. You may be able to take a little more tension with this position. And you're stretching out slowly. So we're not bouncing out there or popping the elbows. The shoulders are super fixed. Let's go for a couple more. Elbows out. Last little set here. Good, bring it back into the bumper and take a little rest. We'll finish out with this one. Bring your palms um, right up at the top edge, but together. Okay, so they're touching. Your elbows go down toward the floor and you're going to press out. You feel a lot of tricep here. I'm also uh, squeezing my glutes and scooping my belly because this brings my sternum up almost into a little extended feeling position in my spine. And I'm squeezing out. Adjust your tension if you need to. Shoulders fixed. Chest is wide. Should be a challenge with you. You've got broad chest. It is a challenge. Yeah. Good for a couple more. Last little set. And good. Bring back to the oh. Take a breath. <laughs> I thought you would like that one. <laughs> Let's come off your box. Just let your foot find the floor, and then the rest of you heels off. Take a stretch wow. here. You're just sitting on the uh, jump board, and I'm pressing away like we've done before, sitting on the carriage. You could do it there too. And flex your top palm. Flex it so that you get a nice stretch down the arm. My bottom arm is extended out and I've pushed myself a little ways away from the, the bumper there. Take the arm behind you. You're still holding. Keep your palms flexed so you stretch those muscles. And then come on up to seated. Turn around. We'll do the other side just to kind of get those uh, arm muscles back to a nice elongated position. So you'll press away, arm up to your ear, and flex the palms so you keep the muscles long and in a stretched position. Your bottom arm is fixed. Breathing. And then take the top arm behind you. Keep the palm flexed and open your chest. One more nice deep inhale and exhale. And let's bring this back to the bumper. Turn around. I've rolled the wrist around a little bit. Roll your ankles, shoulders, neck, and cross it up. We'll continue to add more patterns and reorient on the machine in different ways so that we can get uh, some cardio involved with our Pilates workout. With that, let's uncross, bring your palms together, look straight ahead, eyes open. Look down your cheeks, eyes open. Relax your shoulders and close your eyes. Release it, move around just a little bit. Here's your back. 